What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another Dawn of Titans episode. Alright, alright, getting back into the groove. Um, took a short break for a while, and that's a good offer, actually. I may take that, we'll see. Yeah, but I took a brief hiatus from the game, because I was just, you know, just bored, I don't know. And we got ourselves here. Relic Festival Elemental Fury. Okay, that's not too bad. I may do some forging, we'll see. And let's get ourselves a free chance. You know, the daily good stuff. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, alright. Um, so, right off the bat, we have ourselves a new update. I'm not sure when exactly it's going to roll out. But they have some uh, stuff we can talk about. So this one, I don't, this video may not be like gameplay focused, but it'll be more focused towards the update and geared towards the update itself. So, uh, without further ado, we got ourselves food, gold, VP generation rates on lands uh, have been greatly increased. Oh, well. Whoops. Let's just join a random... Okay, let's, let's join this for the heck of it right now. I don't believe it's upgraded, or mine's updated yet. Wow, we're level... F okay. Okay, collecting all the good stuff. Uh... I don't think so. So, generation rates will depend on the power of your defense. So, stronger defensive armies will not only help to defend off attackers, but also increase the speed in which the land generate resources. So essentially what they're saying is that if you add more defenses to a certain land, the more, um, the more generation rates it will have. So that's pretty new. So, lands have a finite amount of resources, and when fully depleted, will provide an additional award. Uh, so I'm assuming, if you get like, if you get rid of all of the troops and like essentially win, you'll get like a bonus award, and that's just to help with the progression of the game, because uh, I I guess at this point they've noted that the game's pretty um. Pretty tough to like actually grind it out unless you're like really focused and you know want to grind out said game. So land levels spawn at your castle level and uh, essentially you're level 15 or I'm level 15 at this point and where the heck are the lands? Okay so they're okay I don't know. But the lands um, that are being generated here near like this main land for each um, league, apparently you'll have the same level of land. So since I'm level 15, there will be a level 15 land that spawns there. And uh, they no longer need to be upgraded. Let's check that out. Well, I can still upgrade mine, so I still haven't been... Given the new update yet, and I'm assuming it'll just roll over whenever the update comes to me. So I can explain it whenever I do get it, but this is post-update. Or not post, pre-update. Anyhow, um... Land raids can no longer steal from defender reserves. Uncollected resources can be stolen. A portion of the land's unmined resources can also be stolen. Resources, however, cannot be stolen from the storages through land raids. Owning lands will never be a liability. So I'm assuming, um... So they have a set amount of stuff in the storage, like as you can tell um, by these lands here. They do have some areas of storage. 
I'm not sure what the exact amount is, but apparently uh, you'll lose much less on defense. Okay. <clears throat> Bravery penalty for VP is now removed. And their rationale behind this was... Um, this was put into place to prevent bullying. However, VP represents power and should not be regulated by this. Having higher level lands will always mean a greater advantage. Okay. Auto loadout for attack and defense. While attacking or defending, your latest setup will be automatically populated. This should get in, this should get you into battles faster. Garrison defenses will now be hidden. Oh. Oh ho ho. I didn't know that. Interesting. So you won't. Okay. Was not expecting that. So your defenses in your garrison cannot be viewable now. Meaning that if an enemy decides to hit you, they have no idea what you're going to have, what spells you're going to have, what titan you're going to have. Wow, that's going to be intense. So the stakes are really high for garrison raids nowadays. Or at least after this update's been uh, passed through. Wow, that's insane. So, you won't be able to see any of your troops inside uh, someone's garrison. So, you're going to be hitting it blind. So, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Shield times are rebalanced. So, these individual lands will all have a two-hour shield time from now on. But, our castle itself will only have six hours from the eight hours shield time. Lands permanent defenders will match the level of the land. So, so if I have a level 12 land, the defenders will ha will be level 12. And level 15, defenders will be level 15 instead of level 13 over here. So, basically a buff for defenders, that's alright. Now we're moving on to another section called Titan Skills. A Titan skill slots are revealed before they are unlocked for new Titans. Only for a Titan's acquired post uh, 1.16, which I'm assuming it's this update. Um, interesting, interesting. So, if you decide to spend resources, I think what they mean is uh, like spending on these Titans. Oh, might as well just use that. Okay. Uh, lost track, but if you buy a Titan from the shop and... This is what I understand. And if you don't like that skill... Um... I guess you can just, like, re-roll. I'm not sure how exactly this is going to work. I need to test this out, but that's what I'm understanding from the context given by them. But I don't think I've understood it completely. And then we got ourselves increased inventory. This is last but not least. Um, troop power just been, uh, adjusted again to reflect proper values, quote-unquote. I don't know what's their, um, thinking or thought process, how they do it. That's above my pay grade. <laughs> um, troop in inventory increase, so army camps will hold more troops. That's lovely, that's great. Spell forge, um... Inventory has been also increased, so it can use be used to defend more lands. And um, yeah, that's it. Overall, I feel like this is a, more of a quality of life changes. Uh, it's a step in the right direction uh, so far, but I actually won't know until this update actually hits and I have some time to play around with it. But for now, on paper, it seems pretty good. So, this is an update, review, preview, whatever you call it, and um, hopefully the update rolls in. I heard it rolls in batches, so like hopefully I'll get mine tomorrow or the next day, uh, no idea. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Just my thoughts, or maybe not really thoughts, but what the update's actually about for those who do not know, and I actually didn't uh, know there was an update coming up until today. So yeah, 
It's a new learning experience for everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys stick around. And peace.